On tonight's episode of the Mike Pressler Show, we break down the Bulldogs' games against Yale and Wagner. We sit down with Bryant University President Ron Makeley, and of course we look at the week ahead, including this weekend's huge game against Robert Morris, which will decide the 2012 NEC regular season title. It's all here next on the Mike Pressler Show on Cox Sports Television. Well, good evening and welcome to Blackie's Bulldog Tavern here in Smithfield, Rhode Island, home of the Mike Pressler Show. I'm Mike Mancuso, joined as always by the head coach of the Bryant men's lacrosse team, Mike Pressler. And coach, kind of a tough week, kind of uh, some split decisions sure. there, but you still remain 20th in the coaches poll in the national rankings and uh, still continue to get those NEC honors. Jamison Love picking up Defensive Player of the Week for the fourth time this season. And for the eighth time this season, Kevin Massa earning NEC Rookie of the Week. It was the sixth straight week he's done that. As we take a look at Jamison's numbers, 13 saves against Yale, eight saves against Wagner, and only one goal allowed against Wagner College. You know, we, uh, we had, it, was a, it was an exciting week, a very uh, difficult week. Uh, that Yale game was a wild wow game. Yeah, I told the team afterwards, it reminded me of the old days, an old ACC tournament game on Friday night. Two heavyweights kind of slugging it out and, and you know, we, uh, I thought we kind of beat ourselves a little bit at the end on defense and, you know, down 10-7 with two and a half minutes to go and come all the way back and had our chances in overtime. And you can't, can't argue that and uh, give Yale credit. I think that was the third overtime winner in a row. Yep. And then a quick turnaround to Wagner, uh, the conference game for us, senior day in the rain. And I was really impressed how ready we were to play. And uh, I don't think any player on the team had more than two goals. So you score 21, give up three. That's, an, that's a nice way to end the weekend. And without question, kind of took the uh, edge off the Yale hangover for, for, our, for our team. Yep, it was definitely the battle of the Bulldogs up in New Haven. And uh, you know, the final score, 11 to 10, double overtime. And it put you guys at 11 and 3 on the season. You remained at 2 and 0 in the NEC play, but it was the first loss since February 25th. You guys had rattled off 10 straight victories. And again, you mentioned being down 10-7. There was less than five minutes to play. You got goals from Zomerfeld, Sipperly, and then Mason Poley with one of the best goals of the season to tie things up and send it into overtime. Let's check out some of the highlights from the game against Yale. You know, Jay made some saves, boy. You know, and we we had some. Uh, we weren't as sharp defensively as I had hoped. Um, some mistakes, uh, char char uncharacteristic mistakes uh, that cost us goals. You know, great head man pass here from Matt McGrady to, to Matt Larson, first goal of the game in transition. And that was the fourth goal of the season for Matt Larson. He gave the Bulldogs a great, one nothing lead. Great save by Jay. Matt Larson again with a cause turnover. And uh, here we go up, up the field. You know, ben Sternberg and Rob Mayrano off to the races here. A through ball and a one more. There's one Travis more Harrington. So Harrington picking up goal number 15 on the assist. What a play by McMahon. what a play by Alex Zomerfeld off the uh, the invert. And here he comes, the big man, Mason Poley. Incredible, incredible hands. That that is a play that <laughs> not a lot of coaching there. It's called recruiting. And Mason's spectacular between the lines. That's our second line who's done a, a great job all year in the midfield. Bo Redpath with the score. Redpath. Max Wiesenberg, one more to Colin Dunster. Colin Dunster leading the team with 28 goals at that point in the season. Kevin Massa had a, had a tough day. First day, first time all year where he was, um, the other team got the best of him and, and give Yale credit on that one. Kevin battled all day. You know, um, that, was a, that was a key play here again. A headman pass from Kevin Massa to Mason Poli off the face-off win. And that one was Sipperly from Harrington. And here's uh, here's the the game tying goal, the tenth goal. Mason just doing his thing in the middle of the field. Remarkable, remarkable talent. A brilliant goal, and it tied the game at 10-10 to send it into overtime. It would wind up going into double overtime where Yale's Matt Gibson, the preseason Ivy League Player of the Year, would net the game winner with just four seconds left. He had one goal, too. That was his only yep. tally of the day. Glenn Mayorano did a great job in him, and they went to their best player, and he kind of snuck a reach-around shot you know, by Jay, and give them credit, they uh, 
they pulled it out. Yeah, the Bulldogs finished with seven different goal scorers, led by Mason Poley's three goals and four ground balls. Alex Zommerfeld also chipping in two. Jamison Love finishing with 13 saves on 24 shots in that one. And again, it was the first time this season that Kevin Massa lost the face-off battle. That probably contributed, at least in part, to the loss. What did you tell your guys after the game? like, And what was the mood on Saturday as you were heading into the Wagner game? No, we were disappointed. We, um, you know, you come all the way back and don't get it. Uh, that takes a lot out of you, mentally and emotionally in particular. And then we had the quick turnaround. Um, and, and there was no way for the class of 2012, those six seniors, where we were not going to deliver against Wagner. And um, I was very proud how we approached um, Saturday's practice, very much a walkthrough, save our energy there. And our guys were ready to go. And uh, I think we were up 5 nothing on Wagner before they got the ball to the offensive end. Uh, their offensive end and uh, had a chance to play everybody that was eligible to play and just a great senior day, great day for our team. Yeah, I think uh, being prepared and ready for that one's almost an understatement. The way you guys came out scoring just 31 seconds into the game, wound up being 21-3 to and it improved you guys to 12-3 and on the season, 4-0 and in NEC play and it really was a soggy senior day. I mean, it, it came down in buckets, especially in the second and third quarters, but you did remain perfect at home on the season, 7-0 and now. And you bounced back with hardly any rest or really that much time to prepare. I know you guys were able to watch a little film on Saturday, but not much time to prepare for Wagner. And, uh, you know, after the first quarter, you guys were up 6-1, to one, and then the floodgates just kept open. And 18 Bulldogs recorded at least one point in that game. We saw the first career goals for Ryan Jarvis, Ryan Younger, and Davin Lindsay. So just a phenomenal effort all the way around. You got to go pretty deep onto the bench and get some guys some good experience in NEC play. You know, those, those guys practice hard just like the starters do. And and uh, when you get an opportunity to play those guys and, and the roles reverse where the starters come on the bench and cheer them on, uh, that was great for us. And to see those three young men score their first career goal, um, for Nils Thompson, one of our captains, to really play a lot and contribute on offense uh, meant a lot to me. And it, it was just very important for us, again, to get the Yale game behind us, which is well behind us now. Uh, great win against Wagner, 4-0 in the league, and we all know what's coming at the end of the week. Absolutely. So let's take a look at some of those highlights for the game against Wagner. It's a little pick play in our opening um, face-off win. Mason Poley freeing up Travis Harrington there for, for a one nothing lead. Yeah, just 31 seconds in. 16th goal of the year for Harrington. Matt McGrady, a great ball, ground ball. Head man to Max Wiesenberg. Here we go in transition again. Mason Poley through ball to Dan Sipperly. Again, this seemed to be one of those one more situations on the pass. That was Sipperly for his 15th tally of the season. And now into quarter number two. Now they're playing a little zone against us. You know, great inside play by Dan Sipperly and Bo Redpath. Played a lot of zone actually after the first quarter. 16th tally for Sipperly, second straight for him. Alex Zomberfeld, great through ball. Colin Dunster to Travis Harrington, very unselfish as Colin always is. Uh, let's the game come to him as I say so often. Second of the day, 17th of the season for Harrington at that point, made it 8-1. You know, we, we were good against the zone. You know, got the ball inside. Alex Sommerfeld there from, from Colin. 16th tally for him as well. Very balanced scoring out of your troops all season long. Got a third midfield there a lot. Uh, Kevin Rudd, uh, Kevin Sherrill, and, and Nils Thompson. And there played it was. A bunch. First career goal for Ryan Jarvis. Happy for Ryan, a great practice player. Guy's going to play for us down the road. And here comes the goal that perhaps sent the bench into the loudest applause of the day. Anytime we get the ball, it's a number nine there. Junior captain Nils Thompson. Guys think uh, a lot of Nils, as you can tell. And then the play we've seen all season long in many games. You get 55 rumbling off the face, offering transition. He's a... Uh, He's a load. Poli from Massa. That was goal number 17 for Mason Poli. It made it 18-1 at the end of the third. Now we really get a chance to play a lot of folks, a lot of our young guys. Nils Thompson to Davin Lindsay, uh, Canadian connect, uh, connection there for extra man goal. And that was the final goal of the day. First career goal for Davin Lindsay. Get him the ball. That was the final tally that made it 21-3. So again, 
16 Bulldogs finding the back of the net, 18 of them recording a point. Jamison Love allowing just one goal, eight saves on nine shots. Nico Dutra also entering the game for the fourth quarter. Got some action there, allowing two goals on five shots. And uh, again, redemption a little bit for Kevin Massa as he won 90% of the faceoffs he took in that game. But taking it overall, what did you like best about that performance? Uh, overall, we were ready to play. We, we respect our opponent. I don't care if it's Wagner, I don't care if it's Colgate, I don't care if it's Syracuse. We're going to respect our opponent. Um, and uh, Wagner came off a, a great win against Sacred Heart. You know, uh, by the same score, we beat Sacred Heart. So we, we had our, their attention. Um, you know, if we want to win this league tournament, we want to win the league regular season title, we want to eventually, you know, play this thing at home, yep. hopefully the tournament. And you got to go through Wagner before you can get to Robert Morris. So, you know, I was, I was very pleased and impressed mentally and emotionally how ready we were to play. Yeah, a really great team performance there for the Bulldogs. So we will return shortly with Bryant University President Ron Makeley. It's coming up next on the Mike Presser Show here on Cox Sports Television.